Hello, I'm Evie and today I'm going to show you how you go from an empty Unity project to an actual web page that contains a cool sandbox scene using Needle Engine. Needle Engine helps you bring your Unity, Blender, and NVIDIA Omniverse projects into the web. It's flexible, extensible, and has incredible iteration speeds. Let's hop over to our website and open the Quick Start page. Before we can start, we need to download Node.js, which we need to preview and build the website that we're going to create. It's also recommended to download Tactics, a tool which helps to compress textures, making them take up less space on your device while still maintaining quality. If you plan to write or edit code in your project, you also need a text editor, like for example Visual Studio Code. Let's download Needle Engine for Unity now. You can find the currently supported Unity versions in our Getting Started Guide, which we've also linked in the video description. Alright, now it's time to set up our new project. Select 3D and give it any name you'd like. Once our new project is ready, open the Needle Engine package we downloaded earlier by double-clicking on it. Now click Import. As you can see, a welcome message pops up. Let's select Create New Scene with Template. Give your scene a name and hit Save. In the hierarchy window, we can see all the components that make up our scene. Let's have a look at the export component. Under Project Validation, we see that there are some things that require our attention. Let's have a look at them by opening the Validation window. The Project Validation window helps us check if everything is in order or if there are any optimizations available. We are asked to fix the color space and light map encoding. The gamma color space is set as default when a new project is created. However, the linear color space offers more realistic lighting and color representation, so let's fix that. Light map quality changes how textures are stored. We support Unity's normal light map encoding. Before we can start using Needle Engine, we also need to accept the end user license agreement. All right, we are now ready to run Needle Engine. Let's click Generate Project in order to get started. This might take a short while. Once the project has been generated, a browser window opens up. As you can see, it says that our connection is not private. This warning occurs because your browser is cautious about accessing web pages, even on your own computer, due to the lack of a security certificate for your local server. However, since it's your own machine, it's safe to trust, and this warning doesn't pose any threat to your privacy or security. Just click Advanced and then Proceed. And here's our Unity project in the web. Now we can use the Unity Editor. Let's try it by moving the cactus around. Once we're done, we press Save. Without doing anything else, we can see how the browser updates and shows us what our current scene looks like. Needle Engine makes networking easy, since it comes with handy networking features that you don't even need to set up. Let's duplicate our tab and move around. Do you see the little camera floating around? That is your other tab. It also works on your other devices, like phones or tablets. Let's talk about rooms. Your room will remain just as you left it, even if you refresh the page. If you'd like a fresh start, simply delete the extension on your URL and hit Enter. Changes you made in the Unity Editor will still show up though. Now let's add something to our scene. Right-click in the hierarchy window, select 3D object and cube. I'm going to give it a nice green material. Save the scene to update the browser. As you can see, we can move the cube around in Unity and immediately see the movement in the browser. However, if we try to drag the cube around in our browser, it doesn't work. That's because the cube is not an interactable object yet. Let's change that. Select the cube in the hierarchy and press Add Component in the Inspector and add the following components. Drag controls, sync transform, and deletable. Let's save and check our scene. As you can see, we can now drag around our green cube. All right, let's say we want to publish our creation to the web. How would we go about doing that? Simple. We can just deploy our scene to Glitch. Glitch is a tool that helps us bring our contents to an actual web page. Let's hop back to the export info. As you can see, we already have a component that is called Deploy to Glitch. Let's select the Create New Glitch Remix button. A new tab with instruction opens up. 
Copy the URL in your browser and paste it in Unity, in the field Project Name. It may take a short while to receive the deployment key, while a new glitch page is being set up for us. Now press Build and Deploy Production. A website with our creation opens up. But of course, Glitch is not the only option we have. Feel free to check out our documentation to see other supported services like Itch or GitHub pages. And that's how you set up Needle Engine. So easy, isn't it? We went from an empty Unity project to a website with our customized scene in it. Needle Engine comes with a variety of tools and features that can be used in many different ways. Like our friends over at Cartoon Fun, who created an immersive experience of their cartoons using Needle Engine. If you are stuck, feel free to check out our documentation page that is linked in the video description, or ask for help on our Discord server. To learn more about Needle Engine, visit our website under needle.tools.